Why would you do this voluntarily? No idea. <laughs> it's the fucking blip test. <laughs> what was the uh, what was the challenge for you there, mate? Fitness. So we're here doing the beep test today. It's a well-known fitness test. You might have done it in high school. We're trying to dispel the age-old myth that musicians aren't as fit as other professions. So we're going up against the entry level and average requirements for national football teams, rugby, basketball, ice hockey. And uh, if we're lucky, we'll be able to meet the entry level requirement for the Slovenian Ice Hockey Referee Association. <laughs> Mike does this all the time for some reason. Because he likes rigid measurements of fitness. <laughs> No one's at 100%. We've got lats, lats, rocks. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Just a bit shit. Tom, what's wrong with you, mate? <laughs> I've managed to tear something in my groin. <laughs> oh. Just, no, it's a, it's a mental trick. He's just throwing us off. Anything to get out of a beat test. <laughs> Tom is was gonna be the guy who was gonna get the best. Was he? My fitness is the worst it's been. Last time I did a I've oh, gone no. backwards with my Achilles, so I've been informed I'm not allowed to run, so I only do a little bit of running. You have to run between two points 20 meters apart. When the beep sounds, you start running, and you have to hit the other end before the beep sounds again, and then you have to run back and you continue every seven to ten laps it'll go up in level once you miss two beeps in a row you're out and the level that you hit the last beep is the level that you so not the two misses just no, the, the, the last made yeah. um, the seagulls are in my sandwich um, oh that's oh, your food <laughs> man the ibis was really digging in I wondered who's that was I was like oh someone's food's getting smashed damn it why didn't you tell me <laughs> I didn't realize it Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're just wasting my sunscreen. That mostly went on your phone. <laughs> That's my phone. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the uh, unfortunates, as my mum has coined oh, handicap people. Beak. Yeah, it's the beaks and hats are the real compet we got, beaks and hats. We got one per we got one beak in this round. Go beak! <laughs> I have a bad feeling like I'm gonna just wanna push. Two. One. And they're off. So much harder than I remember already. Yeah, I, I have to agree. This is not as slow as I thought. Well, well I've made it to two. Level two. two. Jeez, the the injured the injured sea bombs are doing well. Are you feeling latch? Uh, Pretty comfortable. I actually don't like the rest we'll at the end, so I've, we'll I've slowed down to try and time it. Yep. Oh, I'm going a bit too fast. Bit too fast. <laughs> oh, another level. Tom is really pulling it out here. Clearly in quite a lot of pain. Hey, buddies. <laughs> the Victorian Police Entry Fitness Requirement is about three levels away, I think. Three laps. It's making my right leg get sore, actually. They're using a lot of energy on complaining. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Vicky. I'll still beat you. I'll still beat you. <laughs> Oh. oh, Digby only just made that one. That was a close, close, close to fail. This is quite a boring test, isn't yeah, it? it? <laughs> oh, can the Canadian forces? A documentary recently, and they were no. Digby's out. Digby's out at six point something. You can be in the police force even with a hobbling injury. Normally, yeah. we don't have to deal with seagull. Hazards. I'm coming for you, Melbourne. I'm gonna chase you down. <laughs> Tom's still going. He's, he's actually improved. His stride has improved. It was all it was all talk. So seven point one to get New South Wales police. Come on. Oh yeah, we're on level seven now. Yes. Woo! Oh yeah. <laughs> level eight. Man, I want that Slovenian Ice Hockey Association spot. These fine specimens can qualify for the Slovenian Ice Hockey Referee Association. Just seven more laps. <laughs> you gotta pick it up. It's mine. You gotta pick it up. We're up to level nine. Tommy's silent. Can hear the uh, heavy breathing starting to uh, hit onto latch. 
to do this. Level 10. Level 10. Jeez, I think we're digging up the ground a little bit here. Oh yeah, we are. This is bad. <laughs> we don't want to be shut down before the... We don't, wardens? We don't want the wardens shutting us down. Are they wardens? What are they called? Groundskeepers, that's it. Actually, we kind of do want them shutting us down before me... Before the other team has to go. <laughs> Level 11. Woo! Yon. Oh, oh, he's out. Oh, well done, Tom. 11. Just oh, nice. he's still going. Uh, mental achievement, I think. I think he's going to get going. <laughs> Well done, Tom. Well, I missed that big. Got to get the next one. Come on. Oh, borderline. Oh, it's so borderline. Oh, yeah. Nah, he's fucked. He's gone, he's gone. Oh, nah, he's gone. he didn't make it. Nah. <laughs> He was beaten by the the, the, the the pace of it, which is probably a bit more admirable than just just um. Eleven eight for latch. How you feeling, Emily? I'm about eleven, about eleven eight. Yeah. You look a little tired. You yeah. dug up the ground a little bit over here. Did we move the, uh... Sorry, Ranger. What was, your, what was your biggest challenge with your groin? Just uh, stepping. <laughs> and it's. Slovenia, look out for your next ice hockey coach. I'm Zem Van Brash. That's racist. <laughs> that is probably. Team two. Oh yeah. Two bigs and a hat. Challenges. Also good. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? No. Not really. Three, two. Well, oh wait. No, intro. it intros us in. The triple bleep after a five second countdown. Here they come. One. We're off. Mike's off to a flying start. Going so fast. Yeah, way too fast. Idiots. Way unprepared for this. Slow down, C bombs. Starts off pretty easy. These two are sprinting this. A little pain on Marcus's face early. The spectators. Hey guys. How you feeling? Yeah, alright. Oh, terrible. That's, that's what that means. Start of level three. Level three. And it's at this point that I decide to talk to the camera myself because this is fucking boring. And there's false start there by Mike. Trying to get one up on uh, Sir Furnace. One level away from the Victorian police, ladies and gentlemen. What a nice view, isn't it? It's all admire the view. You're in the Victorian police force. The dudes are ready for the Victorian police force. Pretend I'm... A I'm a crook! Come get me! Come get me! Come here, you scum! I'm gonna get you! <laughs> I'm gonna get you! Where's the energy? I'm filming myself. Oh dear. Well, we shot Elliot! Oh, you're running into me! So we're at level 7, the New South Wales Police Force awaits. Mike Solo just made that one. Oh, he's back on pace. That was close. Oh, Solo's out. Solo's out at level nine. Disappointing. Don't worry, mate. The Canadian Mounties will still have you. Consolation. It's all that sitting down behind the drum kit, mate. Yeah. Furnace and Marcus, last two standing for Team Beak. Here we go. Oh, Marcus is struggling. Marcus is struggling. Oh, he missed it. Marcus needs to make the next one. He needs to make the next one. Oh, they, they both missed that. Yeah, okay, we're just on it. Marcus is behind the pace, looks like. 
Oh, Marcus is out. Marcus is out. Furnace is still going. You got level 10, buddy. Yeah, How's okay. that? Yeah, whatever. Uh, you're, not, you're, not even, you're not even puffed. He wasn't enjoying it. He said he'd stop, but uh, he wasn't enjoying it. Ah, oh, Suki Marcus doesn't want to talk to the camera. Furnace, last man standing for Team Beak. He's going hard. He's going hard. Yeah. Yes, we're on level what, 10 here? 10 or 11 something. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, oh he's I missed it. That. He needs to make it. He needs to make it. Push it. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Yeah, made it. Woo! All right, here we go. He's level 11. Done. He's going well. He's going for the lead. Three more to go. One more. Oh, mate, you're ahead. Furnace has hit the lead. One more for 12. Come on. Here he goes. Even the trains are coming. Even the trains are coming. Oh, he made level 12. Wow, our winner. Furnace Crane. You'd hope so. Because otherwise we'd be having words. How do you feel? Pretty puffed. More proof that redheads are the superior race. Really oh. into oh. now that 12 to cement his place as the leader of the band. What was the uh, what was the challenge for you there, mate? Fitness. No, and being more specific. Uh Fitness. Running. <laughs> Literally just keeping it up, like that's a challenge. It's like the bedroom challenge, eh? Hey! <laughs> Well, that's it, everyone. I have to say, I feel going second is an advantage because you get spurred on by the um, by the competition got, of the you, previous. Yep, I agree with that. You've got. I probably would have had another another couple in me. Yeah. Well, we were I might also be lenient on you. Well, we okay. were extremely lenient. You did miss a oh. lot. You might <laughs> a wrap up of today's exercise. Look. Yeah, really good, uh, fun little fitness experiment. Went a little bit different uh, according to the form that I expected. Obviously, furnace coming in first. Uh, I, I had anticipated that. Um, did not expect the impressive performance from Pluto. The, uh, the leniency on a few laps notwithstanding, he still kept up the pace. Yeah, I think he was just wasn't used to doing it. And uh, Tom McKenzie, despite having a, an injury, pulled in a very impressive performance. So it'd be great to try this again. Also, again. you two chose to drop out for some reason rather than letting yourself get kicked out. Yeah. You could have probably made another one. Yeah, I was happy. Uh, he'd already proved himself to be the fittest. Why? Well, it's not really about competing against us, it's about competing against yourself. Yeah, so he had day. a blank slate, so he, he beat his... No, you've yeah, yeah. <laughs> done it before. <laughs> We've all done it at school. Yeah, I have no idea what I did. Probably at 15, I think. Nah. Yeah, I remember you getting 